Hello everybody, welcome to my personal hell. And my work hell. All the hells that you can think of. Today, we're cleaning out Subway. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna get rid of all the junk that's been laying around here for 10 years. Filling up the place, 10 years worth of gooch and shattered dreams, disappointed women. We're gonna get rid of all that because I don't wanna drag all the crap to our new spot. I only wanna drag the tools and all the stuff I actually need to our new spot. So I said, you know what? I figured you guys would be interested in what it looks like 10 years down the road, the junk of repair shop gathers. And while I do that, I still have to refurbish laptops, which my beautiful blonde colleague is doing out there. So we're gonna go through every nook and cranny of this place, every dust-filled crevice that my toothbrush hasn't touched, and we're gonna see what we can find. There's a lot of stuff I know I left over the years and I forgot about. A lot of uh, videos that were meant to be made that I never had time to make. And the goal is to gather all that stuff and bring it over to our new spot so that I will have the time to make videos of it. I have very interesting ideas, very interesting ideas that you guys will enjoy. But first, we need to clean out the junk. And safety first, here at Salem Texperts, safety first. So let's get started. We're gonna start with this corner. This is the wooden cabinet. Now this wooden cabinet is definitely secure. Only the best here at St. Louis Texas. I built this cabinet myself. Yep, I grew the tree. I chopped it down with my fingers. I drew this, Prometheus and Bob, and the two guys from Seinfeld. Courtesy of Lupe. Prince, you better recognize. Thank you, Lupe. Now this wooden cabinet is my stuff. This is all the stuff I bought for videos or I've accumulated over the past few years. This is an iPhone 7 white. You can see how good my organization skills were. I no longer repair cell phones, but when I did repair cell phones, I needed the JC, whatever the hell this is, to reprogram True Tone and stuff, and the Kian Lee iCopy. I don't need any of this stuff. If you guys need this stuff, join my Discord. I'll give you this stuff. I don't want this stuff anymore. We're gonna pack it away. I don't fix phones anymore. I will never fix phones again. God bless you guys that still fix phones. Ah, yes, we have this. The Panasonic Tough Book, because I'm making a video. How tough is a tough book. That video was supposed to be made three months ago before a certain man became a Florida man, started growing a beard and living in the jungle. Oh, and what do we have here? A hard drive. Well, I hope the data's erased on it because... Being spied on is creepy, but the reality is we're all spied on by corporations who collect our info and sell it to basically any company that wants to make money off of it. And though most countries do have laws to remove ourselves from these lists, doing so is so involved and time-consuming, barely any of us take advantage of it. Because let's be real, ain't nobody got time for that. Thankfully, services like Incogni exist, which is a personal information removal service. It's something my wife and I have been using for a few months now, and I'm proud to have them as today's video sponsor because this is personal to me. A few years ago, my wife's identity was compromised and someone filed unemployment benefits under her name. We had to freeze her credit, change her cards, and do a ton of other time-consuming steps. It was an incredibly stressful process that took countless hours and cost us hundreds in lost revenue. But the best way to prevent this from happening in the first place is to have your personal information removed before malicious actors can exploit it, which is exactly what Incogni does. All you do is sign up, which takes like 10 seconds, then Incogni sends requests to these data brokers and follows up until the job is done. And if one of the brokers starts giving lip or is dragging their feet, Incogni hounds them like a crazy ex until the job is done and you're taken off these lists. They provide updates and you can see their progress reports every month so you can actually see your data being reclaimed. And these brokers aren't just using your data to send you annoying spam emails or non-stop robocalls, which have become the norm of today. They're selling your info to those creepy people search sites, where your info is at the mercy of stalkers and weirdos that want to know where you keep your toothbrush at night. Even health insurance companies will buy this data and use your web history to raise your premiums, which just puts a cherry on top of this dystopian hellscape that is web privacy. Incogni doesn't let this slide, so whenever a new record pops up on a data broker site, they'll automatically take care of it by conducting repeated removal requests so your data stays off this sketchy market for as long as you use the service. So if you're interested in taking back your privacy, use code SALEMTEXPERTS at the link below to get an exclusive 60% off an annual Incogni plan, and watch as they fight sketchballs to take back your privacy. Deep in the dark corners of Salem Texperts 
are all these forgotten and abandoned items. Things that I thought I was going to use and I never did. Things that people should have picked up and they never did. Even after 10 years of being in business. Shout out to George for giving me the Porsche magazine. I don't know why that's in the cabinet. It shouldn't be in the cabinet. Here. Oh yeah, we got a hefty boy. That's an HP HDX. Yep. Also, a future video. That big boy's one of the greats. I got two of those. Two of those! What for? You'll find out. This is the... See? You wonder why they don't make laptops that heavy anymore? That's the reason. This is the second HP HDX. One of these doesn't work. The other one does work. This is my old Surface Book broken display port. This thing sucks. I hate that laptop. Unrepairable piece of disposable garbage. I got that as a trade-in. Our store X1 Carbon. I think this is a first gen X1 Carbon actually. First or second gen X1 Carbon. This is uh, the store, one of the store PCs, so we are going to keep this. The Surface, we are not going to keep. The Surface can get... Oops. Whatever, it's worth more now. My pride and joy. Wonder Woman USB. Get on my level. Xbox Ultimate Game Pass. One month trial. Here you go guys, have fun. Boom! Xbox Game Passes. They expired three years ago. Enjoy. Alright, I skipped about half an hour. I got rid of all the stuff that was nonsense you guys didn't need to see. I got a MacBook here, it's like a A2338 or something, and that has a broken screen. Shout out to UPS. They broke our screen when we shipped it to a customer, so that's that's nice. We have that MSI Blade, I made a, a video on a, a while ago. I think it was a short video, not a long form video. So that's gonna come with us as well. And what else? Ow, skeleton. Bunch of MacBook screens, so spare MacBook screens. These guys we're gonna keep as well because we can get rid of them responsibly. Got some old Xbox hard drives. We're not using these. We're probably gonna shuck them, get the eight terabytes out of them. HP laptop, we installed Linux on it and the touchscreen didn't work. So that's, that's that. We're probably gonna donate this one as well. It's an old HP laptop. Gonna go to a, go to a good home. Basically e-waste at this point, to be honest. So I don't think there's anything you can do with it. We tried putting Windows on there and the graphics driver was all messed up. It wouldn't work. I fix it, shout out to you know who. Thank you for sending these I fix it kits. I fix it did not send those. A subscriber that sent those. I, I've never seen this cabinet so empty. Definitely didn't overload it. Uh, this one, I don't. Yeah, so that one doesn't work. And Lenovo Yoga. The internet called me crazy because of my, my ghetto fix when I poked a hole in the power button because their power button design was ridiculous where it would push in in the motherboard, it would break off the motherboard, and people say, you solder it. And I said, you know what? No, I'm gonna drill it. I'm gonna glue a screw to it. This thing still works. We're keeping this. And last but not least, Alienware R17 something or other back lid. This was the only Alienware I've ever seen with a broken lid, but the guy dropped it from like 10 feet. That's gonna go in the e-waste pile. Oh, this is a good one. I have an entire box full of little sticky Velcro things. Peep these things. You guys will love these. Amazing. I should sell these on the store, to be honest. These are the most helpful thing I've ever used in my entire- My life is held together by these Velcro pads. Honestly, that's what I use- You probably saw it in the video with my iPhone as a webcam. That's what I use to stick my iPhone 13 onto my monitor for a webcam. Case in point. Huh? Wow, the cabinet's clean. I built this cabinet backwards too, can you see that? I accidentally built it backwards, which is why the back sticks out, because I'm an idiot. Greatest technician that's ever lived, worst carpenter that's ever lived. On top, we have the 3D printer, to, uh, bamboo 3D printer. Uh, all of our stuff, this is all coming with us because we actually do use this stuff. Obviously, Ferrari's the Ferrari's coming, all that stuff's going. The cloning station's staying here for a while because we're still working on refurbishing laptops while we clean out the spot. So I guess now it's time for the metal cabinet. Now, the metal cabinet is where all the good stuff is. This Ergotron metal cabinet is actually a pretty good metal cabinet. This is where we stored customers' devices back in the day. It has little outlets in the sides, you know, little electrical outlets. So they're very handy. And now they store my forgotten items like this Dell Latitude Rugged. This is gonna be a part of the Tough Book video. How tough is a Tough Book? How rugged is a Dell Latitude Rugged? Oh, how good is my balance? Very good, you saw that skill. So this is gonna go in the keep pile. I know you're screaming at your screen, and you're, you're saying, what the hell, Andy? 
How wasteful are you? Now this is like a bad episode of Hoarders. The worst episode of Hoarders you've ever seen. But I'm not actually a hoarder. This is something I'm not proud of. This is actually, it's, uh, it's kind of depressing. Because this shows me how much shit I've gathered over the past 10 years of being too busy to do anything. So all this stuff is worth money. A lot of this stuff is worth money, right? My idea was always to sell the stuff somehow put it on eBay or whatever and I never had time to do it because I was running the shop solo. Uh, Lupe held down the reception area but I was the one doing all the repairs, all the business stuff and that stuff's not easy to do that alone and I had no free time in my personal life. I had no free time here. I was always just working, always helping somebody else, always prioritizing somebody else's problems over my own and my own well-being, my own health and my own financial uh, health. So yeah, going through all this stuff is kind of like, you know, it's annoying. I, I look at it, I'm like, what the, what the hell have I, what the hell have I done? All this wasted money, all this wasted stuff. The good news is I am giving this stuff, the stuff that I don't use, I'm going to give to Trident and Trident is going to recycle it. Some of the stuff I will be giving away. I don't know what time I'm going to give them away. Just join the Discord and we'll occasionally have giveaways for all this, some of the stuff that we have here that you know, is, is probably too expensive to, to donate to Trident. When you go to these repair shops as a customer, you wonder, what the hell, why do they have so much crap, so much junk? It's because at one point that junk was something that they were gonna sell. It was something that they were gonna get rid of, but they're probably too damn busy to do that. And after a few years, it's like, it just builds up and builds up until usually they friggin' pass away from the stress and then their estate is left with picking up all this nonsense. With that said, this is another video that I planned three months ago. This hunk of plastic, this big boy. Look at that. That is a large machine. Good thing I'm wearing a hard hat on this one because if thing, this thing hits me, whew, I'm not making it. <laughs> oh, my knees. I don't want to put this on any shelf because it will break just like the previous one did. If it does not fit, I'm going to make it. What else we got in here? Oh, Rich. Thank you, Rich. This is a Rich Rebuilds Popular Mechanics First VA Tesla, shout out to Rich. This is very sentimental, I'm gonna put it somewhere nice. And here we have a Chromebook. I have no idea why I have this Chromebook. This Chromebook doesn't work. That one felt good. This HP actually does work, so. This HP, the person I was gonna give this to, they never responded to my uh, DM. This is a HP, I think this is a Spectre actually. This is one of the first Spectres. Yeah, it's a Spectre, it's one of the first Spectres. Not a very good machine in terms of current specifications, but it was cool while it lasted, so that's gonna be a keeper. That one will give away. It, the bottom panel's broken, I can't find a replacement. Bottom panel for it, so I just gave up. Uh, oh. oh! One of our subscribers came by with this. This is an old HP Elite book. These are the bad boys. This is the good Elite books. This is a Compaq, I'm sorry. It's a Compaq. It's the not Elite book. This is the HP Pro book. It's very similar to that Compaq. It's a, it's a model that's newer than that Compaq. Back when HP wasn't afraid of being thick. Shout out to HP, back when they used to make things that were worth a shit. There's nothing else in the cabinet. What else do we have? Oh, what's this? Hmm, we don't need that. What else do we got? What else do we got? We got a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, the next thing we need to tackle is probably gonna be our thick laptops. The shelf of thick with two Cs. You guys have not seen this yet. You will in a future video. Stay tuned. You guys have already seen the Cosmio, you know the deal. The MSI, the Gateway FX, the Asus ROG that I have not fixed yet. That that one needs a, uh, I need to solder the, the battery connector back on, but I've been too busy doing this to be able to do that. We have our stack of part Lenovo's over here. These are all the Lenovo's, the ThinkPad X1 Carbons and all the random ThinkPads that I've bought that had some sort of issue that we saved for parts. Um, because not everything I buy wholesale actually, you know, works. Some, a lot of the stuff I have to, I have to fix up. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is my first computer. Uh, not my actual exact very first computer, but it's the same exact model as my very first computer. You guys remember this thing? That one's coming too. A lot of videos planned, not enough time, not enough time to do them. But since you guys love a time lapse, I'm gonna time lapse everything, so I'm just gonna set up my iPhone. And that way you can at least see the before and after as we do things, since I just don't have 
time, and I know you don't have patience for me to go through every single little thing in this shop. There's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of garbage that you don't care about. I went over the interesting things. You guys don't care about those, you guys care about the time lapse. All right, gotta make sure my hard hat's secure. Wait, is that, can I even see? Oh. Ah!